Hello everyone. Most of you know that I am about to, in another couple months, release a new book of Sheaves and Stars. And this one is about uh, the story of Joseph in Genesis. This is uh, a lifelong journey that I've taken with this book. And so this one is um, a dream come true, basically, to uh, launch it into the world. And I'm super excited about that. But uh, for those of you that have been following along on social media and on my email list, uh, which you can join uh, via my website, jubileelipsy.com. Uh, you will know that right now I'm working on the cover art for the new book and waiting on formatting uh, to update. And so I'm kind of been uh, amusing myself uh, and encouraging myself by looking back at some of my other books um, just to keep busy and keep in the zone. Um, it's one of the blessings uh, that I didn't expect to get out of this is that when uh, you're finished with a, a great project like this series that I did, uh, you know, when God is on something that you're doing and he is helping you with it, there's things he wants to teach you. You're not just giving it away to others. And so it's been a great joy to look back at these books and uh, relearn things and see things I didn't see before. And I'm hoping that uh, those of you who have read the My Brother the King books can do that as well. And recently I was reading through book three, My Father the King, which is, uh, if you've been following along with some of the other YouTube videos, you'll know that um, My Father the King is the story of Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth, who I call Mephi in the book, um, and how he um, made his way to King David, uh, even though he was an orphan and he was disabled and uh, just had a very violent past and uh, sort of his his journey to David who adopted him and made him a prince basically it sounds like a Cinderella story and uh when I was writing the book I just reading back over it I remember this when I was writing this book um initially I thought that's all the story was about was just you know orphan finds David and is adopted because of his you know father's friendship with him and they live happily ever after but you know riches to or rags to riches uh story but one of the things that I've learned about writing is that um, stories that do well, stories that people can relate to, need to be more than just narrating events that happen to a character. There needs to be a corresponding inner conflict because we all can't relate to Mephi's circumstances, but we can relate to what's going on in the inside of him. Those things are more universal. And so when I was studying the story back before I had written the novel, I realized that the real story was happening on the inside of him. And the real story was Mephi learning to shake off the expectations of his past and the shame of his past and realize that he wasn't expected to carry the curse of King Saul. He wasn't expected to be his father, Jonathan. He wasn't expected to be David, the big hero of Israel, but he needed to figure out how to be his own person before God. What did God require of him? And he also needed to decide, you know, am I going to be on David's side? Am I, you know, even though Saul was against him, Jonathan was for him, what decision am I going to make? Now you might say, well, that's very cool. And if you've read the book, maybe you see that progression as he learns that throughout the book. But how does that relate to us? Well, there are many things that relate to us throughout the story of Mephibosheth, um, one of which being that David is a type of Christ in that story um, because Christ laid aside his royal robes and lifted us out of the ash heap, basically, and into what we couldn't give ourselves, which was the position that he purchased for us at his side. But it only counts if we accept it. It only transforms us if we accept it. And that's what Mephi learns throughout the story. And it was so cool to look back and see that progression and how it actually relates to us. Mephi learns throughout My Father the King that just because David decided to make him a prince, just because David poured out mercy on him and kindness on him, didn't really change Mephi's past and it didn't really change the inside of Mephi. It didn't transform him. He had to decide, am I going to walk out what it is to be David's son? Is he just David, the nice king that that gave me riches and, and lifted me out of poverty? Or and is he just the nice king that my father was friends with? Or is he my father, the king? 
And that decision is what, like the hesitancy that Mephi deals with before making that decision is what opens him up to a lot of trouble and opens the door to a lot of deception and the demons of the past coming in to try to deceive him and get him off course. It's only when he makes the deliberate decision, I am going to accept a relationship with David, which a relationship takes two people. I'm going to accept what David did for me and I'm going to be his son that everything changes for Mephi and he's able to let go of the past. That is very, very crucial for us as Christians. It is Salvation is not just about us saying, gee, thanks God for saving me. That way I don't have to go to hell. I will just go to heaven one day. It's about our response now. He saved us not so that we could continue just living unto ourselves, being tossed this way and that way and pulled by all the winds and waves of culture. We were meant to make a deliberate decision for Christ. Is he just the the random savior that you don't really know that just saved you from hell and you're going to meet him one day? Or is he your father, the king, today? Because Jesus brought us into relationship with the the Father, Father God, the ultimate King. Is he your King every day? Have you made the deliberate decision that you're going to walk out your royalty that Jesus purchased for you? Are you actually going to allow it to change your life? Because that decision is what's going to transform you. That decision is what's going to protect you from deception and prepare you for all the storms that are going to come against you. And it's not enough to have Christian parents. It's not enough to have like someone in the past that lifts you up like Jonathan did for, for Mephi, but you need to have, and it's not even enough to have people that are benefactors in the present, like David, you need to make your decision for Christ. And it has to be a decision that affects your every day that I'm going to walk out my position as a son or daughter of God because of what Jesus did. I'm going to embrace what it means for him to be my father, the king. And so I know this seems random, but I'm still discovering all of this stuff from my books. And this is why I write this stuff, because it's something that continually teaches me, and I hope that you've been learning from it too. I can't wait to share with you what I've learned from studying the story of Joseph, and that should be releasing in July. So keep your eyes open for information on that, and I hope that you have made a deliberate decision to follow your father, the king.